The Alawai Canal runs the length of Waikiki and has been there for the past 100 years. Because of that canal, Waikiki was once heralded as the Venice of the Pacific. But in the past century, the canal has faced several challenges and issues. And joining me right now is Paul Sin, the founder of Blue Alawai Foundation. How's it, Paul? How are you? Nice to meet you. Thank you so much yeah. for being on the show. Now, let's talk about this. This, this looks um, a little bit ominous to me, especially the red line around yeah. the Alawai. What is this? This is the map from the city and U.S. Army Corporate Engineer. The red line is the one they want to put six to nine feet wall. Around the Alawai? Yeah. So when we drive, this tree... Kapahulu, Alawai Boulevard, and all over, you cannot see canal at all. Wow. Yeah. That, I mean, because we want to look at Waikiki. Waikiki of is, of course, the, the jewel of the island, right? You know, right? The, when they put it in, they're going to put plenty of graffiti. Mm. And uh, they don't have uh, no idea how to clean the canal. The purpose of the wall is for what? Prevent the flood. Flooding Once Waikiki. out of 100 years, a big rain come, we're going to have a flood and we will lose a lot of money, tourism and all that. But we Blue Alawai Canal Foundation has an idea. We can prevent the flood and clean like a Hanauma Bay. We Are can bring all the fishy back, turtle back, and monk seal back. In the Alawai? Yeah. Well, explain to me this uh, this contraption that we have over here. First of all, let's orient ourselves. Where, okay. where, what are we looking at? Uh, this model show current Alawai Canal. So, what is the plan? And or this is the current lineup. So Nobody want to have a wall, and it's ugly. The price tag is one billion dollar, and it's going to go up. Blue Alawai Canal Foundation bring new idea. Actually, the original plan for uh, Alawai Canal. A uh, hundred years before, it was a dual outlet. Mm -hmm. If we don't want to have a wall, there's the only way we can have is dual outlet. We got to send water out faster. Well, I know part of the original concern was that the, the sludge and all the pollution would pollute Waikiki Beach. Yeah. So how is this plan different? Okay, that's why we have a gate. Okay. Two gates, one on each side. When the ocean is a low tide, we're going to open Waikiki Gate and close harbor. The yeah, tide go up, all the fresh ocean water coming into the canal by only Waikiki side, not from harbor. Okay. Because we close it. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So after all the high tide going into the canal, then we're going to close Waikiki side and open harbor. Okay, I see it kind of yeah. filling up over here. Okay, so now the Alawai is filled. Yeah. And we got the uh, the Waikiki or the Kapiolani Park gate open. Yeah. The harbor gate is closed. Close. So what happens? And so all the high tide up, we're going to close Waikiki and open harbor. And tide go down, all the water going out this way only. Ah. So there's no way we can uh, pollute in Waikiki. This is uh, cleaning the canal. When the water bomb, like we worry about the big rain come, we can open both sides. And so the water from Waikiki coming in from the fresh side, coming into the harbor, where yeah. does it go? Does it just the stay? harbor. Does it just stay in the harbor? No, it's going to go out slow. The actually big current is on that side. Pushing yeah, it out. Pushing it to west side. Yeah. Wow. See all the water going out to the harbor two times a day. Yeah. So and again, this was part of the, the original plan in the nineteen the early nineteen hundreds. Right. They wanted yeah. to do the two gate system, yeah. but the concern. But this. But they didn't think about the gate. We needed you to think about that, Paul. Well, thank you so much for coming in today, Paul. Thank you for bringing all the displays. I felt like I was back in school, and this makes it makes sense and, and is easy to understand. Yeah, easy to understand. Thank you so thank much, Paul. No problem. It's a pleasure.